A lumber mill burns throughout the night. It's one of the largest employers in Amador County and it went up in flames just before the company's 50th anniversary. And this morning, the fight to put out the inferno is still ongoing. Let's get over to Fox 40's Tom Moss joining us live from Martell with a look at the flames this hour and the implication it could have on the local economy. I know you spoke to an employee who worked there for 45 years, you said? Yes, 45 years is really amazing. That's almost the entirety of the entire mill's lifespan. And now, well, the mill is basically no more, Melanie and Richard, you can see here. Now, that employee telling me what you're looking at here, what actually what we thought was like a 20-foot high wall there, actually was part of a larger facility, which was a roof. The entire roof, he says, has collapsed. What you're looking at where that water is spraying there, it's been spraying all night. Well, it used to be a roof over there. Now, this uh, is all here at the Ampine Lumber Mill in Martell. The fire started yesterday afternoon when flames ripped through the mill, tearing down walls, leveling buildings, and nearly destroying the entire facility. Now, employees say calls for a fire went out over the radio, giving them only moments to grab their things and get out with wood chips and raw lumber on site. Ampine Lumber Mill was the last of its kind in California, set to reach its 50th year of operations next month. It's a devastating economic loss for Amador County because, well, this mill provided millions of dollars of taxes for the county each year. And now one employee who worked here for 45 years says he's devastated. A lot of these people, that's their whole livelihood. They're not going to be able to recover from this. If they don't rebuild it, which I hope they do, this is pretty scary. It is a shock. I've never seen a fire of this magnitude ever. Seen fires in manufacturing facilities, but nothing at this, this big. And fire crews remained here all night long and will likely stay here for the next couple of days, making sure embers do not rekindle any fires to the surrounding areas. And as we come back here live, that's really important because we've seen some of the embers jump the walls here. Now, they create just tiny little spot fires, but of course, firefighters want to make sure that those little spot fires do not turn into anything bigger than that. Now, the cause of this entire fire is under investigation. Reporting live here in Amador County, Aton Wallace. Fox 40 News.